For the past 38 years, the Hobie Baker Award has been given to the NCAA's top male ice hockey player every single season. For comparison, it's basically like the Hart Trophy for college hockey. Many of its previous winners went on to have a massive impact in the National Hockey League, while some others didn't, and since I am in the middle of doing a series revolving around the CHL, I thought it would only be fair to mix in a video about the NCAA. So today, we're going to take a look back at the 10 previous Hobie Baker Award winners and see where they're at right now. Beginning in 2010, we have Blake Jeffreon, who won the award as a member of the Wisconsin Badgers. This was Jeffreon's fourth and final year with the team, and it was an amazing year for him. He finished the season with 28 goals and 22 assists for 50 points in 40 games, finishing 11th in the nation in points and third in goals scored. Unfortunately, he was unable to lead the Badgers to a championship as they fell 5-0 to Boston College in the West Regional Finals. Now let's take a look at what happened happened to Jeffreon after his collegiate career. Originally, back in the 2006 NHL draft, he was a second round selection by the Nashville Predators, but he decided to play out his entire four years of college and eventually became an unrestricted free agent after his Hobie Baker award winning season. He then signed an amateur trial contract with the Milwaukee Admirals, Nashville's American Hockey League affiliate. After spending a season and a half in the Predators organization and not being able to crack the NHL roster full time, unfortunately, February 17th of 2012, he was traded to the Montreal Canadiens in a deal that sent Hal Gill back to the Predators. Unfortunately, this was near the end of Jeffreon's career. In a game on November 9th of 2012, as a member of the Hamilton Bulldogs, Jeffreon was on the receiving end of a hit that would eventually end his playing career. At first glance, it doesn't look all that bad. Sure, it's a big hit, but it wasn't dirty. It was just a very scary fall. Jeffreon hit his head very hard and had to get emergency surgery to repair a fracture. Initially, he was expected to make a full recovery, but on July 15th of 2013, at the young age of 25, he informed the Montreal Canadiens on his decision to retire from the game. The following day, Jeffreon joined the Blue Jackets organization as a pro scout, and after two seasons of that, in 2016, he was selected to be the assistant general manager of the Lake Erie Monsters, Columbus's AHL team. Moving on to 2011, we have Andy Mealy, who won the award with Miami. Miami University. Like Jeffreon, it was also Mealy's fourth and final season with the team, and he put up ridiculous totals. 24 goals and 47 assists for 71 points in just 39 games, leading the entire nation in scoring. He was an undrafted player, but after a season like that, you're gonna garner a lot of attention from NHL scouts, and on April 2nd of 2011, the Phoenix Coyotes signed him to a two-year entry-level contract. He spent the 2011-12 season in the American Hockey League for the Portland Pirates and led the team with 54 points in 69 games, which was the start of a great career so far in the American Hockey League. Unfortunately, he's yet to become a full-time NHLer, and at this point, it's not looking like he's going to, but he's had a very successful career in the American Hockey League. He also played two seasons over in Europe, spending the 2017-18 season in the Swedish Hockey League and spending the 2018-19 season in the KHL. This season, Mealy would return to North America America to play in the AHL for the Tucson Roadrunners, and before everything got put on pause, he was actually having a really good season with 48 points in 58 games as a 31 year old. Next up we have 2012. The award was won by Jack Connolly, who played for the University of Minnesota for four seasons, and like the two other players, he won the Hobie Baker in his fourth and final season with the team, putting up 60 points in 41 games. But unlike the previous two players we've talked about, Connolly has actually never played a professional hockey game in North America. America and has instead enjoyed a long pro hockey career in Europe. Immediately following his Hobie Baker award winning season, Connolly would sign in the Swedish Hockey League and has been playing there ever since. He was never really a star over there, his career high is 37 points in 50 games, but still a solid player and had 24 points in 52 games this season before the cancellation. Moving on to 2013, we have Drew LeBlanc, who actually played five seasons at St. Cloud State, and you might be asking how because most players are only only able to play four seasons of collegiate hockey, but LeBlanc was actually injured 10 games into his senior season and was then allowed to be a redshirt senior for the 2012-13 season. LeBlanc put up 13 goals and 37 assists for 50 points in 42 games en route to the 2013 Hobie Baker Award and then signed a one-year entry-level contract with the Blackhawks on April 12th of 2013. He would play two games with the Blackhawks at the end of the 2012-13 season and then spend the following two years in the 
American Hockey League with the Rockford Ice Hogs. Nothing ever really came of LeBlanc's pro hockey career in North America, and in 2015, he signed a contract with the Augsburg Panthers of the DEL. He is currently still playing for that same franchise today. He's kind of became a star over there for them, scoring 266 points in 278 games with the team from the 2015-16 season up until the end of this season. 2014, a player I'm sure you're all very familiar with, Johnny Goudreau, who spent three seasons with Boston College. Johnny Goudreau was actually a finalist for the Hobie Baker in 2013 and lost out to Drew LeBlanc, who we just talked about, and would obviously win the award in 2014 after putting up a staggering 80 points in just 40 games. The Flames drafted Goudreau in the fourth round back in 2011, so at the end of the 2013-14 collegiate season, he would go to the NHL to play one game for the Flames where he scored a goal. So you could bet Johnny Goudreau was going to be on the Flames opening night roster for the 2014-15 season, and he was, and he had a great rookie year with 64 points in 80 games and finished as one of the three nominees for the Calder Trophy. The others were Mark Stone and defenseman Aaron Ekblad who eventually won the award. Fast forward to now, Johnny Goudreau is a star for the Calgary Flames and one of the elite wingers in the NHL. Over the past three seasons, he is 13th in total points scored, ahead of players like Sidney Crosby, Claude Giroux, and John Tavares. Moving on to 2015, we have Jack Eichel, freshman phenom for Boston University. He won the award in his first and only season in the NCAA, becoming just the second freshman to ever win the Hobie Baker, the other being Paul Correa in 1993. In 40 games, Eichel led the nation with 71 points. He was the Hockey East scoring champion, player of the year, rookie of the year, first team Hockey East, and a member of the all-rookie team. He was also named most valuable player of the conference tournament and a lock to go number two in the 2015 draft behind Connor McDavid. And that is exactly what happened. Now Jack Eichel is the face of the Sabres franchise, he's their captain, and after this season especially, one of the very elite centers in the entire National Hockey League. He had 78 points in 68 games this season, which is the highest point per game of his young career so far, and hopefully sooner rather than later, the Sabres management can put a team around him that can contend. 2016, the award went to Jimmy Vesey, who won it in his fourth and final season with Harvard. If you ask me, 2016 it should have went to Kyle Connor as a freshman from Michigan, who lit it up with 71 points in just 38 games, but it is what it is, and Jimmy Vesey still did have a really strong season with 46 points in 33 games for Harvard. Vesey was originally a third round pick back in 2012 by the Nashville Predators, and was guaranteed a spot on the Predators roster for the end of the 2015-16 season, but VC informed the Predators that he wasn't interested in signing with the team and would like to choose his destination. Obviously, Buffalo didn't care that he wanted to choose his destination because they would acquire his rights from the Predators back on June 20th of 2016 in exchange for a third round pick in hopes to get at least a couple of weeks of exclusive negotiating rights, but VC wouldn't sign with them either and eventually sign with the New York Rangers as a UFA, pissing off two NHL teams Teams before he even played a game in the league. BZ was solid in his first three NHL seasons, scoring 15 or more goals in each of those three years for the Rangers, but this past summer, they found themselves in a bit of a cap crunch and traded him to the Buffalo Sabres, the team he kind of originally blew off. VC has kind of struggled to find his way offensively in Buffalo with just nine goals in 64 games this season, but he can definitely still be a very useful NHL player. 2017 was Will Butcher, who won it in his fourth and final season for the University University of Denver when he had 7 goals and 30 assists for 37 points in 43 games, making him one of the most sought after free agents in the summer of 2017. Butcher was originally a 5th round pick back in the 2013 draft by the Colorado Avalanche, but like many other players we talked about, he wanted to play with his full 4 years and choose where he wanted to sign as a UFA. The team he chose was of course the New Jersey Devils, signing a 2 year entry level contract with the team, and after playing very well in his first 2 years in the NHL, this past summer, he re-upped on a 3-year $11.2 million contract. This season, he has struggled a little bit. It has been the worst of his 3 years in the NHL so far, but the team in general wasn't very good this season. 
2018, the award was won by Adam Gaudet, who played three seasons for Northeastern University after the Canucks drafted him in the fifth round back in 2015. Gaudet's Hobie Baker award-winning season was fantastic. He had 30 goals and 30 assists for 60 points in 38 games, and after the collegiate season was over, he would sign his entry-level contract with the Canucks and play five games for them at the end of their 2017-18 season. Gaudet's development with the Canucks has been pretty good so far. Last season, he had 12 points in 56 games, and this season he definitely took that offense up a notch with 33 points in 59 games. I don't ever see Adam Gaudet as like a top two center in the NHL, I don't really think anybody does, but like a very good third line center who can chip in some offense and just be a solid all around player, he can definitely do that, and that's kind of what he's been this season for Vancouver. And for a fifth round pick, I'd say that's pretty good. And finally, 2019, Kale McCarr won the Hobie Baker, who spent two seasons with the University of Massachusetts after being selected fourth overall in the 2017 draft by the Colorado Avalanche. McCarr had 49 points, 16 goals, and 41 games in the 2018-19 season for UMass, and after the season came to an end, he would sign his three-year entry-level deal with the Avalanche and join the team for the playoffs. McCarr came in and had an immediate impact, with a goal and five assists for six points in ten playoff games. He did not look like a rookie whatsoever, and heading into this season, Kale McCarr was definitely one of the favorites for the Calder Trophy, and it's safe to say he did not disappoint whatsoever. 50 points in 57 games for a rookie defenseman that is pretty unbelievable. If he hadn't gotten injured, I feel like he would definitely be the runaway favorite for the Calder, but now it's really between him and Quinn Hughes. The Avalanche have an extremely bright future on the blue line with Kale McCarr, and not to mention they have a guy like Bowen Byram who will probably be on the team sooner rather than later. That is going to wrap up today's video. I really hope you guys did enjoy. This video took a long time to make. It's one of my favorite videos I've made in a long time, so if you did enjoy it, please make sure to go down there and drop a like on it and also make sure to let me know who do you think is going to win the Hobie Baker award this season and with all that being said if you guys are new and you want to see more NHL content like this make sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you all in the next video